Oh, hey, my friends. You know what? You have perfect timing. And guess what? It's a wonderful day, and I'm so glad you're here. Now, I have some exciting news, too. Today, we are going to learn about animal superheroes. Not only that, folks, not only that, we're also going to hear some amazing music that will leave you in awe. So buckle up, get ready, and let's learn about the world of animal superheroes. Hey my friends, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I was wondering if today you were interested in learning the animal alphabet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, can't yeah. hear you. I said, are you ready to learn the animal alphabet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. Let's learn our ABCs together. The fun new way. A is for anteater, and a B is for a bat. Well, the C is for a camel, they have a hump up on their back. D is for a duck, quack, quack. and the elephant starts with E. <laughs> F is for flamingo, yeah, he always bends the knee. It's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet, it's the animal, it's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet. Now G is for gorilla and the H is for the horse <laughs> and the I is for iguana and it starts with I of course. Oh, really? Now J is for a jaguar and the K the kangaroo hop, hop. and the L is for a leopard and they have a spot or two. Sing it! It's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet, it's the animal, it's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet. Now M is for a monkey oh, oh. in the nightingale. O is for a orangutan and they barely have a tail. Oh. P is for a platypus and Q is for the quail. R is for a rabbit and their hopping never fails. Hop, hop. It's the animal alphabet. It's the animal alphabet. It's the animal. It's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet, now sing it. It's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet, sing it. It's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet. S is for a starfish and the tiger starts with T. The U is for the urchin and they swim beneath the sea. V is for the viper. For W Wolf is next, oh. and the Latin word for swordfish is Xiphius with the next. I wasn't expecting that. It's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet, let's sing it like it's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet. Animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet, let's sing it like it's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet. Y is for the yak. And a zebra starts with Z. Wow. This was the animal alphabet song, and it's for you from me. It's the animal alphabet. It's the animal alphabet. It's the animal. It's the animal. Today we're diving into the world of animal superheroes. All of our team is here. Miss Evelyn's cat-like sharp eyes, Miss Chum's song-like singing abilities, and Miss Pearl's elephant ability to remember everything. Every. <laughs> Move over, Spider Man. Here come some real superheroes. Are you ready for a journey into the world of animal superheroes? Let's start in South America, where we meet the poison dart frogs. These tiny creatures are like living rainbows with super bright colors that tell other animals, I'm not yummy, don't eat me. And guess what? They have special juice on their skin that keeps them safe from harm. Long ago, clever indigenous people used this juice on their darts for super strong hunting. They're also fantastic parents carrying their babies on their backs. Imagine being a tiny superhero on an exciting adventure. Now, let's head to Africa, where we meet the gentle giants. Yes, the African elephants. 
They're the biggest land animals with floppy blanket-like ears. Those huge ears help them stay cool in the hot sun, just like you use a fan or shade. African elephants are like superheroes of the family, hanging out in big groups called herds and having amazing memories. They use their long trunks like magic tools to grab food and even take showers. Baby elephants have their own playful parties and they're curious explorers just like you. Continuing our journey, we meet the speedy animal superheroes, the cheetahs. They're like nature's fastest runners, zooming even faster than cars for a short time. Cheetahs have special coats covered in spots to hide while hunting. Guess what? They have big noses for super breathing while they dash around. Cheetahs are peaceful and clever, using their tails for balance and their sounds to talk to each other. These fast cats are in trouble, so people are working hard to keep them safe and sound. And finally, let's meet the bouncy animal superheroes, the kangaroos. With their powerful back legs, they hop like superheroes to travel big distances. They're great parents, and their moms have special pouches to carry their tiny babies. Kangaroos use their tails for balance, and they're awesome jumpers. Some live in forests, others live in grasslands, but they all come in lots of colors and patterns. Just like you love different toys, kangaroos have favorite homes. Remember, each of these animals has its own superpower and a special role in our big world. They're like real life animal superheroes, showing us the amazing ways animals can adapt and thrive. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep being a superhero for animals too. One of my favorite places on earth is called the rainforest. The rainforest is sometimes called the lungs of the planet because they help absorb carbon dioxide. Now with that being said, they also help stabilize the climate. They produce a ton of rainfall and guess what? Yes, you guessed it because you're so smart. They're home to some of Earth's mightiest animal superheroes. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there existed a magical place known as the Rainforest. This enchanting realm was like a treasure trove of nature's wonders, teeming with an incredible array of plants and animals. The Rainforest was a bustling city of biodiversity, where creatures of all shapes and sizes lived together each playing their unique role. It was a symphony of chirps, croaks, and rustling leaves as the animals, the animal superheroes, communicated with one another in their secret language. Among the rainforest's many residents were the sloths, the slow motion animal superheroes of the treetops. These furry creatures, with their gentle nature and unhurried pace, were like the very embodiment of relaxation. They spent their days climbing, hanging, and napping, using their long tails to balance as they moved from branch to branch. Their leisurely lifestyle allowed them to truly appreciate the beauty of the rainforest as they munched on leaves and soaked up the tranquility.
In the midst of the rainforest's vibrant foliage, colorful toucans darted and glided. These feathered marvels were the fashionistas of the jungle, wearing the most brilliant hues as they hopped from tree to tree. Their big expressive beaks weren't just for show. They were superhero tools that helped them snatch fruits from the trees and create their distinctive calls. Toucans were like the acrobats of the canopy, swinging and leaping through the branches with grace. Venturing deeper into the rainforest, you'd encounter the playful lemurs of Madagascar, the acrobats of the island's lush landscapes. With their wide eyes and curious nature, lemurs were like the explorers of their domain. They communicated in a secret language of sounds and gestures, forming strong bonds within their tight-knit communities. Lemurs were nature's dancers, moving gracefully through the trees. As the journey continued, the rainforest unveiled the ultimate adventurers, the chimpanzees. Living in tight-knit communities, these clever creatures resembled our own human families. Chimpanzees were the problem solvers, using tools like sticks to reach food and solve puzzles. They communicated with body language, vocalizations, and hand clapping, forming a secret code that only they understood. Chimpanzees were the learners, observing and copying behaviors, like superheroes, in a never-ending mentorship. In the heart of this lush paradise, the rainforest showcased its power as the lungs of the earth, producing oxygen, absorbing carbon dioxide, and maintaining a delicate balance. It was like the guardian of the planet's health. But the rainforest was not invincible. It faced a great threat from deforestation as humans cut down trees for various needs. Fortunately, heroes emerged, people dedicated to protecting this magical realm and the superhero animals they called it home. And so the rainforest stood as a symbol of the incredible wonders that nature offered, where sloths relaxed like philosophers. Toucans displayed their vibrant elegance, lemurs danced in harmony, and chimpanzees showcased the brilliance of learning. Each corner of the rainforest was like a chapter in a grand story, teaching us that we are all connected and have a role to play in preserving this beautiful world. We've seen lots of superheroes that live on land, but did you know that 71% of the Earth is actually water? Sure did. That's why I love the octo. Hey, that's eight words. Octo means eight. You're right. Here's eight fun facts about the octopus. Hey, yo! Here are eight fun facts about our eight-legged friend, the octopus. Let's try saying that eight times fast. Number one. The octopus has a cat-like tongue. It helps them eat clams and mussels. It's basically like a big spoon. Number two. Octopuses can breathe and see through their skin. Yup, you heard that right. This superpower lets them see light changes without even looking at the sun. And they can also breathe air with their skin. I wonder if they can smell stinky garbage with their skin. Number three, the octopus can camouflage itself almost instantly. This is like an invisibility superpower. Think of all the funny pranks you could play on your kid sister or brother. Number four, 
Octopuses possess short and long-term memory, which means they can observe and remember people and various animals. So if you make friends with an octopus, they will miss you. Number five, octopuses use a smoke screen to get away. Well, it's actually ink and it helps them disappear from predators. Number six, each arm of the octopus can work independently. That means an octopus can really do great work with eight arms. Number seven, the octopus has three hearts. That means your octopus friend will love you three times as much as Fluffy the Wonder Dog. Actually, they use all three hearts to keep their blood flowing. Number eight, don't let your dad catch the octopus borrowing his tools. That's right, the octopus can use tools, some of which they use to build homes for themselves and escape aquariums. We've seen a lot of cool animals today and we have learned a ton. Just remember, we never ever touch or pet animals without adult supervision. You know, sometimes animals need heroes too, and one group of human heroes is called Kids Save the Rainforest. You can ask your parents to check them out online at kidssavetherainforest.org. Another way you can help animals is by picking up litter or trash around your house or your neighborhood. You wouldn't want an animal eating something that might make them feel bad or getting tangled up in something that might hurt them. Together, we can make planet Earth a better place. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you soon, friends. Okay, bye. Hey, friends, let's play a game. Okay. The animal alphabet, it's not the same. Okay. I say we switch it up, make it from forwards to back, or backwards to forwards. Either way, I think we do it backwards. Now. Sure. If you know what I'm trying to say. I think I do. Should we try it? Yes. It's my first time, too. It'll be okay. Okay. Z is for a zebra with stripes, they are so neat. Y is for the yak, so furry and so sweet. X is for Xiphius, a swordfish true and bold. Wow. W is for wolf, in the forest they roam, I'm told. Oh. It's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet, let's sing it like animal alphabet, it's the backwards animal alphabet. Now V is for the viper, snake, they glide, they hiss, and the U is for the urchin, in the sea they find their bliss. T is for the tiger with stripes of black and gold. S is for the starfish in the ocean, they're so bold. It's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet, let's sing it like it's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet. R is for the rabbit, they're hopping without fail, and Q is for the quail, a bird so small and frail. P is for the platypus, a unique little fellow. O is for the orangutan who doesn't swing from high, he swings from bellow. He swings from bellow because it rhymes with fellow. It's the animal alphabet from forwards to back to backwards to forwards. We're just having fun here. It's okay to just have fun sometimes. N is for a nightingale and they're singing in the night. M is for the monkey, they're so playful and so bright. L is for the leopard with spots of black and tan. K is for a kangaroo, they're hopping across the land. It's like, it's the animal alphabet with all the animals in the animal kingdom. Not really because there's uh, so many animals in the animal kingdom, I couldn't fit them into one song. J is for the jaguar, stealthy and so sly. I is for iguana with scales that catch the eye. H is for the horse, running wild and so free. G is for gorilla, swinging on a big old tree. It's the animal alphabet, it's the animal alphabet. It's kind of getting, it's getting kind of long. I think we're ready for the song to get over. Uh, I, yeah. If it's for flamingo, graceful in the knee bend. E is for an elephant, with a trunk they do defend. 
is for the duck, yeah, swimming in a lake. C is for a camel with a hump on its back. It doesn't rhyme, but it is the animal alphabet, and it doesn't need to rhyme all the time. See, the most important thing is that we try our best. Our best is all that we can do. Our best is all that we can give. I appreciate you guys being here with me today, and I hope you come back and watch more videos sometime. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna yeah, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna play us out. We're gonna sing the rest of the song, play and then out. we're gonna let you go. Please. I hope you enjoyed your day so much. Get it Remember, over. I'm proud of you, and you are very special. Thank you. B is for a bat flying in the night. A is for anteater with a long tongue to bite. <laughs> it's kind of a weird way to do it, but that's what ants eaters do. They eat, they, they eat ants. It's the circle of life. Hmm. Now we've reached the end from Z back to A, the animal alphabet we've learned today. Like and subscribe the video and please watch it. It's Animal Alphabet. It's Animal Alphabet. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I appreciate you so much. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. Always remember that you are a super important part of this little thing we call the circle of life. There's so many animals, there's so many people. Every single one of them is important and unique just like you. Some days it's hard to find one good thing in your day, uh, but today maybe that one good thing can be the animal alphabet. I certainly hope to see you soon, and we'll catch you next time, okay? Have a good day.